life is too short to not live it authentically. And what does that mean? It means living as we're meant to be, as we were born to become. Every single person was born to become something, and it is something that is valuable and purposeful and meaningful and required in our world, meaning that you needed to come into the world because you were important, you had something to offer. But we don't always find that. We don't always live our lives authentically. And sometimes that's challenging because it changes as we live who we become changes and we go in different directions, have different careers, different relationships, whatever it is, it changes because we change because we're evolving. We're always evolving and our world is doing the same thing. But I'm talking about this today because I have not been fully living authentically. I've, I've, I've gotten there. I get there a little bit um, every day and that's generally how it works for most of us. We start to accept who we are a little bit more each day. And when we're not doing that, we're depressed and sad and afraid when we have not accepted who we are. And then there are other times where you get pushed, it feels like, into owning and accepting who you are because something happens in your life that is saying, now it might be time. For many of us, that is happening now because of what's going on in our world. And we felt it. We felt the energy of that. But yesterday I had to come to another realization, um, a very good friend of mine for the last 36 years, um, someone who I spoke to basically almost every single day, um, is, is dying. That's what's happening. We die that's, and she's dying and she's in that process. And it was a realization I had to come to because she kept saying, um, are you going to get on with what you're doing before I die? And that's what a lot of us think in our lives. Are we going to finish it before we die? Are we going to get on with it? But this is what she said, because she wanted to see it. Because she's known what I've had for all of these years, but I was the one who couldn't really own it and put it out there. I've had many people around me who have seen that as well. And I see that in my clients. It takes a while for us to mentally, cognitively accept what we were given, but we were all given something. And I'm speaking about this because I had intended to send out a, an announcement of ending my um, the special offer that I made to bring people into my program where they would have this extra um, things that I'm doing on relationships and money and all of that. And it was supposed to have been, um, you know, yesterday and I didn't get to it because I was a little, um, distraught let's say I was in and I had to go through that process because we're not going to be on top of the world every day especially during this time in our world because there are going to be more changes and more people are going to die that's what happens it's just a part of life but we're at a time now where it's accelerated where it's a lot and I knew this and this is the part that was challenging for me to accept my authenticity because I have been channeling and receiving information for many, many years since I was a child, but doing it actively since 1988. And I could never explain that to anyone why it was happening and why it was working. Even when I started in my careers, people couldn't figure out why I was able to do particular things. And it was because I was using my intuition. I didn't even know that's what was happening most of the time. We all have intuition, but I just happen to be a person and there are many people alive who understand this. I was one who was receiving information in a very different way, but it was also uncomfortable for me. And so I wasn't going to talk about it in public. And that's the other thing that happens. We judge ourselves because we worry about what other people are going to think. And I know I can no longer do that because I also understand where our world is moving. We're moving through what I've called a restructuring. And that means that we each have something to offer the world that could make it better. We can see what's going on now. And it looks really chaotic and, and, and divisive and angry and all kinds of things. And we're trying to balance that out with feeling good ab about the holidays. No, that's probably not going to solve the problem now. The problem is you owning who you are. And I had to do that. I had to come into understanding that I have lived my entire life moving through developing things um, that could cause anyone to change their life. I mean, you, 
the, when I and I don't talk about many of them because sometimes it's unbelievable that I've done that. When I first began working on this, I thought I was going to call the program "Overcoming Everything," but I said no, people aren't going to get that. And so then I changed it recently to your last development program because that's what I know is true. Because everything that I have in there will change someone's life and cause you to become who you're meant to be. We only live in our consciousness, and it's in our brains and our minds and then we have to give ourselves time and a method and a way of changing that so we can accept who we are that's all that ever goes on for any single person and I know this because it worked for me and that was also very strange for people to understand but if you saw my earlier writings I would receive direct communication about what to do in my life that's how I was able to move through so many things uh, create businesses, heal diseases, heal illnesses that even the doctors couldn't understand. Every single person has that ability. If you decide that you're going to want to take these gifts, if you're going to want to work with these techniques and then change and transform your life. And I had to finally come out and start saying, yes, this is what is happening. And the reason that my work came out now is because it's going to be challenging for a lot of people if you don't know who you are. If you're not owning yourself, and becoming really empowered and feeling confident in yourself, you're going to have trouble because the world's going to be going a little crazy. But then the other part of this, you see, is that if you do decide that you're going to own yourself and become happy, successful, prosperous, in love with yourself, you're going to do that. You're going to actually help the transition of our world because now you're adding an entirely new energy to the world that causes things to manifest in a new way. And that's what I'm doing. So I just wanted to say that. So what I'm going to do is leave this open until uh, Wednesday because we lost a day until Wednesday. So anybody who wants to come in at this rate um, right now um, for that's going to go on for the um, end of the end of the year, basically. But um, it's going to change quite soon. Um, I'm the price and everything is going to change because I'm adding all this other information. So those of you who want this special right now, please take it. It's for the entire year. You won't have to pay another penny and it will transform your life. That's all I can tell you. It will transform your life. I can't cause you to believe that though, because see, that's an individual choice. I didn't believe it myself, except my life transformed. That's what I can tell you.